interesting. So we're still focusing primarily on that drunken driving instant incident where someone died. Someone died. And that is the way that we came, so let's head forward to uh to more candles. You don't have anything to say to start us off this time? Nothing. More candles in the tent? And more candles in the box there. With barrels and all that. It's too late for me to go up here. Uh, 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 come on. Oh, I have to go around. Okay, let's head to the left. Even though the candles clearly say we should go to the right. So I assume this is a way that we can get additional dialogue. And the other way is the way that we're meant to go. That's my reasoning there. I sat here and watched two jets carve parallel white lines into the sky. They charted their course, and I followed them for 21 minutes until they turned off near Sanford and were lost. If I were a gull, I would abandon my nest and join them. I would starve my brain of oxygen and suffer delusions of transcendence. I would tear the bottom from my boat and sail across the motorways until I reached this island once again. That was kind of cryptic. He would... He would starve his brain of oxygen and create illusions or delusions, illusions, delusions, either way, of transcendence. He would. Becoming a gull is a form of transcendence of some sort. Can we go out on the dock here? On the pier? I don't know, is this a pier? It's so dilapidated by this point. Doesn't seem like I can go any further that way. I don't have any form of jump, so we'll just continue going. And I see more candles up there. I see more candles that we need to go for. There is the moon, and it's very, very bright over there. Can I not make it up there? Ah, oh, I want to go up there to the candles. I have gone the wrong way for candles, though. Oh, no, there's more this way with another pier. It's a very small pier, but I, I believe it would still be referred to as a pier. So let's head on here. Does this, does this candle give me any dialogue when I go to it? No. It's too bad. I'm kind of hoping to trigger more dialogue here. We are nearing the end of the game. We are... We're nearing it. Still got a little ways to go, though. Don't worry. Don't worry if you haven't figured out what's going on here because I know I haven't based on what they've tell me, told me. Like I said, you're never really going to fully understand what is going on in this game. At least that's my experience with it. And as you can see, I am focused on trying to get that done. Oh. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what this is at all. But I do want to do some backtracking here to go back towards this. We begin to assemble our own version of the North Shore. We will scrawl in dead languages and electrical diagrams and hide them away for future theologians to muse and mumble over. We will send a letter to Esther Donnelly and demand her answer. We will mix the paint with ashes and tarmac and the glow from our infections. We will paint a moon over the Sanford Junction and blue lights falling like stars along the hard shoulder. Okay, we have a full name, Esther Donnelly. Of all things, Donnelly. Oh, looks like I have to go back the long way in order to get that way, so. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it up there. I mean, that is quite a journey, but we have, so I'll try to sum up a little bit about what we know here. Uh, we'll write letters to Esther Donnelly. We... We have heard that name before. Donnelly is the last name of the person that was writing the uh, histories here. But he definitely referred to a Donnelly as a he. So Esther must be the wife of this Donnelly, of this author? We don't know much about him, though. God. What the long way for nothing is this? Okay, this is definitely Scotland, then, if that... That black rock in a hexagonal form, that is, that is Scotland, for sure. Maybe these are natural, then, these these rocks, because of, uh, 
Well, there there is this part in Scotland that I have seen. I have uh, well, I've seen it on TV and and things like that, um, where. Well, we have we have something similar here in California, up by uh, Yosemite, and it's called Devil's Post Pile. It's a bunch of I, I can't remember which rock it is, uh, but it's a black igneous rock, and it forms clear-cut geometrical shapes when it forms, and I believe it is hexagonal here too, um, but that implies. Um, a volcanic eruption quickly followed by um, a quick oncoming ice flow or, or glacier or something like that and uh, that's what forms that so I guess that that could be what happened here maybe this north in Scotland there was an eruption before the last ice age which is what I know they say happened at uh, Mammoth Mountain which is just outside Yosemite which is here. I go there quite often. I didn't think that knowledge would help me in this game, but knowledge always helps in this game. Are, are you going to do that again? No. I swear there was a sound that triggered because I looked at that. I looked at the paint. So, who uh, the narrator who had... Uh, painted, uh, well, who had laid the candles, said he laid the candles, obviously painted everything here. He seems obsessed with that chemical. Could it be alcohol? He seems obsessed with it, and he's also obsessed about the drunk driving incident. Here we see pictures of, of the car crash that we had seen. Just reliving it over and over, it seems. That is no good. That is no good indeed. Let's head in here. Oh, lots of candles here. Oh, is that another defibrillator? It is. It's another defibrillator and all the medical equipment here. It's just reliving a few series of moments in his life here. I assume that the uh, the surgery and, and the drunk driving incident happened at roughly the same time. I assume those are pain pills. It's hard to say. But it is said that kidney storms are formed out of stress, and maybe the the additional stress from this loss during the drunk driving incident has formed. The, he said that it formed the island. I assume it's a metaphor. So now we can finally drop down here. Once again, that is a point of no return. So if you didn't go that way, that's how you get it. And we didn't get very much dialogue out of that, but we definitely are getting more of the story through the environment. This game is all about environment and ambiance. If you haven't figured that out yet, but if you haven't figured that out yet, then possibly have not been paying attention. And there's the other molecule full of nitrogen. I don't know what that is. It's full of ends, though. I interpret those as ends. It could be a different symbol. Actually, now that I look at it, some of the... No, they look like ends to me. I was thinking of something else that it could be, but no, those look like ends. Is that a picture? Do you hear the sounds now? Oh, they're gone. That looks like Esther, possibly? It looked like a female to me, but it is rather hard to make out, and I can't zoom in any more than that. We'll just continue on. And head into this cave here. We have another cave. We can get more into the mindset of the narrator. And, oh, no, 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 oh, that is awful. Just reliving the car crash over and over and over. Oh, we are not painting a good picture here. Is that going to be my ultimate destination up there, the beacon? I believe that is the name of this last chapter. There were the chemical th diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee in, sticky at the handle where his hands shook. He worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been travelling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yoghurt to the European market. 
You could trace the connection with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. I think he's talking about the person that that was drunk. I think that's what he's talking about. So the person that was drunk and hit whoever was uh, was the reason for all these chemical compounds. Him. Around him. I'm, I have to read this backwards. You'll have to excuse me. Shown around him. Heaven shown around him. Heaven shown around him. Ah, a light from heaven shown around him. Once again, another biblical quote. I assume from Acts 22 something. I assume that is what all these are from. Not, not Esther. Not Esther. Because I don't remember that line from Esther. Like I said, I just recently reread it. From here, I can see my armada. Your armada? I collected all the letters that I'd ever meant to send to you. If I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Oh, he wrote, wait, he wrote letters to the person that died in the drunk driving incident. He's been writing letters to Esther. Esther's the one that died. Here they are. And this is clearly... Mm. This, this, is, th this can no longer be a real island, for lack of a better term. This is a metaphor. This is all a metaphor. There's no way all these are out here. He said he had watched them all sink, but here they are. This is... This is not... Mm. Could it be a dream? Could it be... Yeah, it, it feels like a metaphor for me. There is a path up. Let's head this way, though. Let's head this way. We, we, we can see what we can find in here. Looks like a little garage of some sort. On a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him, and he fell to the ground. Here we have three eggs. Three eggs. Are there more than three people? Are there just three people that we're talking about here? Huh? He said that he said that becoming a wing gull a, a gull was some form of transcendence. There's only three there. Can I go into the ocean? Can I, wow, I can really go off the side here. Can I go this way? Oh wow. There's like a little cutscene here. She can't come back. <laughs> she died. She's gone. Narrator. No. We need to help you with your grief. I don't know what we must do, but that is... That was a smart idea, the little armada. But it didn't work. It didn't work. We need to help you with this, though. We need to move on. Let's head. Looks like we're heading for the beacon. Looks like we're going to head that way. He said that, like, deep down in the caves was the only place he could avoid the signal. The signal must be from the beacon. I don't know why he wanted to avoid it, but he didn't want to hear anything from the mainland, I guess. I'll just continue going, and hopefully we can figure this out as we continue. We still need much, much more information to figure out what's going on here.